We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Did you say you put raw chocolate in your enemas? Yeah, cat cows, really good, yeah. Wow. All those minerals going straight in. Wow. One of my favourite is cacao noni hemp. That is a really good combination. When, when I used to live with Kate, she told me that she thought doing an enema with just water was kind of like a waste. Like you could always put something in there. That's so true. So, the goodness. <laughs> so you, you do enemas also? I do, yeah. How often? Um, also like every two weeks, every three weeks. I was doing them like weekly for a while, but now not as much. Cool. Uh, coffee or garlic for a while. Wow. Garlic juice. Um, I'd like press garlic cloves wow. and yeah, sim it. <laughs> so why is it a waste? Not because you absorb nutrients that way or something? Yeah, yeah. So can someone never put anything in their mouth again and survive by just doing nutrient enemas? <laughs> I doubt it. Why not? It wouldn't your gut start failing. I don't know. You don't know? It wouldn't be very yummy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to experiment on myself. <laughs> it would Well, some people like no, to become breatharianism. Yeah. yeah. If I was going to be a breatharian, I'd definitely be doing enemas like that. It's a plan. Okay, so the new question of the day, another question of the day is... No, it's, a new, it's a new thing, it's not Breatharian anymore, it's Endomarian. Oh. Endomarian, okay. Do you think that someone could survive Big by endomarian. stop eating, they don't eat food anymore, <laughs> but they take nutrients in through the rear end? You love people. Here we go. I've got an Enderman video on YouTube. I know, I think I saw that. Weren't you like macking out with some guy while doing an Enderman? <laughs> <laughs> no. Outrageous. I'm really excited that Kate's here. This is the first time she's ever been in the US. I lived with Kate for like a year, probably, wasn't it? Like on and off a few years back. And that's when I really like expanded in my raw food world. Before meeting Kate, I was just eating like lettuce. And, <laughs> and the first time I met her, she was like, Do you eat any superfoods? And I said, No, I don't really believe in superfoods. I don't really know what they are. I'd been living in Iceland, in like the countryside for years, and she started giving me maca and goji berries and bee pollen and purple corn and spirulina and all kinds of stuff, and I was bouncing off the walls. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really fun to see her here. Were you with me when you met Matt? I was. Can yeah. I tell that story? Yeah, please. Because um, she told me that she'd met you on the internet, and there was just something about the way she said it. <laughs> And, um, and then I saw your picture on the internet and just I had this feeling like that's Judah's soulmate. And it was one of those things when it, you know, when it like, it wasn't me thinking it, I just, I was like, oh, that's, I, I think I told you. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you used to send loads of gifts to my house because Judah was living with me. And you used to send like, one Valentine's Day, do you remember this? You filled the whole house with balloons. <laughs> Do you remember? There was I remember, like yeah. 20 like helium balloons and you sent loads of flowers as well. And then the first time I can tell them the first time I ever met you, Matt. Can I tell them? Yeah, yeah. I was walking home, I had a shop in Brighton for a while, and I was walking home from the shop and um, I was just walking down my road and this cab was pulling up outside my house and you got out of the cab and we didn't know Matt was coming. He had you he kind of had a suspicion, didn't you? But you hadn't said you were coming, we had no idea. And, and suddenly he was just like there outside the door and it was so romantic. <laughs> so cute. And I remember the day that my mum brought me to your house, I knew my life was never going to be the same again. Like I remember carrying my bags over the threshold of Ms. Magic's house and just knowing like, this is it. <laughs> like, it's the point of no return. Yeah, totally. And it was, it was like a vortex, that house. The energy there was so high. All these people like living and working there and making raw chocolate and everything was like all the time. It was a crazy vortex of like expansion and it was, it was wonderful. Yeah. And during all this time, this is where I met Angela on the internet. We were messing around on Skype and stuff. And she was always off her face on like massive amounts of cacao. Like, 
eating cacao like crazy. Like Yeah, there was just chocolate everywhere all the time. Yeah. So check this out. I'm going into this London cab here. I feel like I'm in the UK. Look at this. Like Hello. It's, it's like I'm back. London cabs. We're all just drinking tea. I seriously feel like I'm back in the UK. This is crazy. This is so crazy. It's raining. We're in a London cab. It's three London girls, or British girls, <laughs> in Santa Monica. It just doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.